What is the first mover's advantage when it comes to properties? Is it really an advantage or a disadvantage? Mm. Shalom everyone, I'm Julia from Propedia. This channel is created to share in-depth research for projects across Singapore. Today, on Juice with Jukes, I'll be sharing with you my review of Lentor Modern. Do hit the like and subscribe for more of such videos. Lentor Modern, the first new launch out of six new launches in the Lentor Township. Lentor Modern is an integrated development by Guaco Land, comprising of three 25-storey towers, 605 units of one to four bedroom units, with more than 96,000 square feet over two levels of a mix of retail, F&B, supermarket and childcare centres, and with direct access to Lentor MRT. Let's go to Livia, which was the first launch in Pasir Ris Grove when the entire area was untouched land. Today, the latest launch in Pasir Ris is above 1,900 PSF. Livia was launched at about 600 PSF in 2008 and it surged about 37% during TOP, which is when the development was completed. Today, it's transacting at around 1,100 PSF, which is an impressive 70% growth. Moving over to the Quartz. The Quartz was the first launch in the Bangkok precinct when the entire area was untouched. It was launched at about 500 PSF in 2006 and surged about 45% during TOP. Today, it's transacting at about 1238 PSF and that's up 160% in 16 years. Today, the latest launch in the area is also going at 1009 PSF. In the West, Caspian was the first launch in the Lakeside Drive precinct when the entire area was untouched as well. Today, the latest upcoming launch in Lakeside is estimated to be above 2300 PSF. So we've taken a trip around Singapore today and what have we seen so far? Historical trends have clearly shown that the first launch in an untouched plot of land in a new town report very high profits and provides massive room for growth. So as mentioned, Lantern Modern is the first out of six GLS plots to be launched for sale and is the only plot gazetted for mixed use in the Lantern area. The second plot was awarded in January this year to Guoco Land as well. With rising land costs, construction costs and rising interest rates which drive up the cost of building and financing for developers, will the next few plots in Lentor be cheaper or more expensive than Lentor Modern? What do you think? Being the first out of six plots to be built, I had a buyer ask me, wouldn't Lentor Modern be less attractive as compared to the new condominiums in the Lentor area in the future? Well. Being an integrated development with the developer managing the non-residential portion, it would mean that the development will be continually refreshed so as to attract tenants that can draw crowds in. That will also mean that Lantern Modern's residential component wouldn't face the risk of being poorly maintained like some of the older developments that we see today. Staying in an integrated development offers the highest level of convenience, but does anyone appreciate that? Let's take a look. In Pongo, between integrated development Watertown and nearby condo Treasure Trove, Watertown is commanding a rent which is 33.3% higher than Treasure Trove. In Yishun, integrated development North Park Residence is commanding a rental 22.8% higher as compared to the next nearest condominium, Nine Residence. And in Paya Leba, integrated development Park Place is transacting with rentals 28.8% higher than nearby Katong Regency. No need to worry about traffic issues for children coming home from the MRT station as there are no roads to cross and regardless of rain or shine, they can come home directly from the mall. The only concern might be the lack of vitamin D, which you can replenish when you're lounging at the pool on level 4. Well, based on the numbers, we can see that tenants are willing to pay more to live right on top of a mall and MRT station due to the convenience and safety. So what will be important for Lentor Modern if you're looking to purchase it will also be the developer's track record as well as your exit strategy, which I'll be happy to share with you over a glass of juice. If you'd like to find out more about Lentor Modern or other developments in Singapore, do drop me a message on any of my socials or click on the button below in the description. If there's a certain project or topic that you want me to touch on, do leave a comment in the section below. Hit the like and subscribe button if you find my videos useful. I'll see you soon!